Greetings, brothers. I wanted to make this video to encourage you brothers who are not about Western lifestyles, but you wish to have Western wealth. Everybody have their own culture. In India, in China, in Japan, in the motherland, in the various countries in the motherland, you have a stack. You may dress Western, nice styles, and that may work for you. That is what you do. In America, the same thing. A lot of men of color who just like Western Caucasian men think that is an upgrade. They think that if you work for them, learn their laws, learn their ways, work their jobs, that's the only way you can make your money. But there's another genre out here that represents upkeep, stability that you can have with your own style, your own culture, your own look. I'm not just walking my own way. I'm also a culture encourager. If I wear Nubian garb, I wear the best Nubian garb. If I wear um, outfits to work out in, then I wear the best of that because it's to work out in. I don't encourage Western clothing on anyone. I use jogging clothes as a way of just getting dressed to work out. And if that's what you're doing, especially during this pandemic, I encourage you. I would never support or encourage any Western designer or European designer by putting their clothes on my body and paying a significant amount of money unless there are a pair of shoes. Because right now I cannot find any designers that's from the motherland who designs the type of shoes I like. So I usually get specific types of shoes that are in my um, observation uh, no more than $300. You know, you, you shouldn't pay anything over 200 in my opinion. That would be a good pair of shoes to wear. When it comes to anything else, I think that if you can pay that much money for someone name on your body, then you should have things custom made to your liking. That way you can get what you want and carry your own stacks and be in your own unique type of look like I've always done. All my clothes are custom made regardless of my income. Now, let's talk about income. Your wealth is not based on how much you make. Your wealth is based on how important you are and how intelligent you are and how you devise a plan to survive in a society that doesn't give you that option. Now, you're talking to a man who is self-made. I had no mother or father. I lived in a foster care system and I didn't allow myself to get caught up in the corruption. I could have been a drug dealer or anything that made fast money. But I don't worship European money. I use it as a tool. And as me using it as a tool, that means that I'm not going to go crazy over it. And I'm not going to kill anybody to get it. I get my 40 acres in a mule because I have enough intelligence to know how to do that. I've helped other men get their 40 acres in a mule, even some women who, of course, are in denial and won't even admit or acknowledge what I did for them. I encourage how to be a great parent, by example. I encourage how to be disciplined, by example. I encourage all the things that I represent, by example. I can't really say anything else. Now, do people listen to me? It depends on where their mindset is. People who are about the culture, they should be listening to me, in my opinion. But they may not even know I exist. But the people who don't listen to me and not in my culture, 
That's not my problem, and that's not my issue. I don't try to put on facades. So you may catch me not shaving, or I may sometimes have sleep in my eyes, or I may have my hair on wrong or not tidy. Because I want you to see the real me. If you came over my house, knocked at the door, you may catch me at, you know, like, I don't need to prep like a woman to be fashionable. I think no man in his right mind should try to dress like a woman or act like a woman in fashion just to be, as some would call, a consultant for dressing up. <laughs> I think it's more important things in the world than trying to look a certain way. Um, but if you do practice that, then be the best at what you are. When I wear my car, I look good in the brother. I look good in the sister. When I design my clothes, I look good in it. I designed them clothes. I didn't go and look for some fake name, homosexual, who put it out there. And I'm wearing his or her stuff. I'm wearing my stuff. My design, my look. And anything I pull off a of Target or a Walmart or any store I go to rack, it's for the convenience of where I'm at. When I wear jogging clothes, it's because I'm going back and forth to the store to do something. When I do dress up, I am promoting my culture. I'm promoting who I am and why I look the way I look and how I'm encouraging other men and women to get on board. There's a reason, a pattern behind what I do. And I have spoken previously in small volumes about that on my other channels. But on this channel, this is the last channel. Because it's me, my full name, who I am, would it mean all that? My first name means wisdom from the most high. You can take that however you want. I look at it from my ancestors and who condone and encourage me to be the best I be. My last name means young warrior. And that's what it means. I'm the only one with my name in this entire existence. Why? Because I made it up. And I made it up with a meaning. So every one of my children has a name that is theirs. Nobody else's. We copy nobody else's name. Every name was made up and created for them with a meaning. Now that's powerful to me. I would never be a copycat of another person. Never. And my children won't either. Now, I even created a language and a writing for my family, my culture. I believe that if you want to be special, you create your own. I have many blueprints from many different foundations. Now, who want to join me? It's up to them. I have eating rituals. I have uh, culture rituals. I have identity rituals. I have history rituals. All these things are put in the right category to be used at the right time for the right people who want to participate. I have a status where if a woman want to be in my life, these are the things she has to come to be a part of. I don't chase women. I put it out there. I believe that if you want a good wife, you must seek her out. But you have to seek her out and then tell her your conditions and your demands. Either she's going to be with you or she's not. And you keep it moving. I'm only going to be on this planet so long, and I'm going to enjoy myself whether they like it or not. I talk about my history because it encourages newer people who haven't been in that kind of stuff to avoid these type of people. As you get to know me more, I will tell you about how to avoid controlling narcissist females, how to control controlling narcissist males. How to avoid people who are toxic in your life and give you nothing but manipulation. Okay? I will encourage you on how to raise your children right. Because it is a true battle. Skating up here on ice. When it comes to raising a child. 
no matter what you have learned from the pale skin or any other race, your own personal history and, and learn of methods is what really works. I have a lot more to say. I can't really find uh, the thoughts to say right now. But I will encourage any and everybody who have questions or presentations of their thoughts and what they think to present it. Respect.